Let's just get started with some leagues. I can just talk later. Yeah, let's start with the typical list. It's a little light on lands, but let's give you a land. Take an untapped source. Just to hold up this reclaimer if I need to. I guess that's better than no land. I might go to Bog then if they go to get Arcanist. Or go to Arcanist with their. Uh... Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I think they would have bolted this last turn. If they had another one in hand. Don't shuffle. Okay. Try and find land. I think I'm just going to try and crop rot the bog away for a cloud post next turn. Make this a cloud post. I feel like this game's probably lost already, but... I'll see. I think I just have to like hope they don't have like another wasteland after after this one.
What's up, Jake? Oh, yeah, I guess you wanted to... It's kind of sad when they go to, like, move towards Rug Delver and the more streamlined builds. I don't think I'll ever do that. Oh, Ollie. Yeah, he's like a lands expert. Sad times. Oh, it's super bad against this deck in the, uh, the Sunday thing that I qualified for. Like three Delver matchups I lost to, so... I mean, it was like a small field, and they probably knew what I was going to be playing. But even so, it's definitely a bad showing. Yeah, the way this game started out, too, I didn't even think it was all that bad for this matchup. Land and I'll concede. So, Jake, I'm forced to quarantine, so I might be streaming a lot these next like 10 days or so. Uh, yeah, somebody in my family. I met up with over the weekend tested positive so yeah assuming I don't die or anything <laughs> probably stream for a while but yeah they yeah I want to go get tested it's gonna be all good hopefully Oh, damn, it sucks. Man. I figured it would probably happen to most people, like, eventually. Unfortunately. the one we expect to lose. Uh, ninjas, I think, is... I like the matchup for myself, but if I don't see it coming, if they ninja me and get me, like, by surprise, I can definitely, like, get snowballed. But if I see it coming, like, I can need all the right things, and then... I'm not too concerned about it. I kind of want to play that deck myself, honestly. Like, maybe play it in, like, real life once it happens again.
Oh, we have Vintage Rage. It's, uh... I can see that. Just pumping out... Like, big things automatically. I'm logging this. I'll try this. Hope I can hit a cloud post with this once upon a time. What to put back is the question, though. Probably just a green sun, since it's only going to be a prime time. And we'll probably draw, like, a threat before then. Take a cloud post or a forest with this. Oh yeah, retrofitter foundry. That's uh Yeah, the first time I played against ninjas I didn't realize all the synergy like that that card had with it. I like the deck a lot though. This feels like just a bad start for this league. Two cards top. Just go for a cloud post, like now. Uh, uh, multiple car optimizations kind of sucks. Yeah, it's a stray. Protect with crop rotation now. So I feel like Oko's coming down soon. Did you have a good Christmas, Jake? Yeah, it was good. Other than like the this recent stuff, ooh, it's not bad. Let's just gain them life. Yeah, you gain two. It's annoying. No. Vin a legacy dredge. I like the vintage dredge. Legacy I'm not so sure of. Like I pretty much love all like combo decks and legacy. Dredge like isn't really my thing.
Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I guess I just threatened to make this. Make them play an Oko. I'm kind of all in on this here. If they don't play Noko here, this tabernacle could keep them off it next turn. It's assuming I don't just die right here. There's seven. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Another answer to Oko. Answer. Could just crop rotten if they have submerge right now. Yeah, let's do that. Uh. Bog, I guess. Not the best thing to take here. Slimmer post, possibly. Yeah, I think glimmer. I died to another bolt, but... Ancient Grudge. Let me stop the Oko one. Shit. I tried. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh, that was a rough one. Stupid Delver. I like Vintage uh, Dredge, though. I think it's pretty cool that you get to use all of the, uh, like, all the free pitch spells and everything. I think it's the most different than the other ones. A league or two here today. Claimer. This is a good matchup, at least. I should probably try and try out vintage, buy a deck for it. Like you and a lot of people like say good things about it. I 
There's a therapy. Okay, heck. Yeah. Yeah, I remember him saying. Guest. I'm just gonna let them therapy here. They'll probably say crop rot, but that's fine. I'm evil titan. Okay. And do I go get Caracas here? I guess so. And then just hold up Glacial Chasm still next turn. Be a bad idea to get those maps out too, but yeah, whatever. I think just holding up crop or, or holding up chasm is the safest thing at this point. also, but likely going to be chasming at some point anyway, so I don't really care about the graveyard at this point. Maybe on that same note, it was stupid to get the Caracas as well. It's like the same thing. Yeah, neighbors outside are being loud. Like, not that I care at this hour, but. If you hear like background noise, that's what that's about. Let's go get cloud post now. More mana to work with. I just don't think I care about Hogak at this point. I'd rather just get the land drops out now. If I play like an altar here, I'm just gonna search up with Reclaimer right now. I want a chance of losing that.
obviously doing this now. I guess I'll keep the Caracas around rather than a second cloud post. Might be relevant having to go infinite at the end of this game. It's not a bad way to also close out the game. Just a ton of mana or... Yeah, I'm not gonna play it out right now. Next turn, I might even just search up Forest, Green Sun for Excavator, and then just guarantee like my land drop every turn. Let's do that, actually. An opponent disconnected. Hopefully they're back soon. To add to. To make an already kind of boring matchup situation more boring. Hey, welcome to my stream, everyone. I don't normally stream at this time of the week, but... Is there different times? I normally stream on the weekends, this 12 post deck. But I'm going to be doing a league here or two for you today. Okay, they're back. This kind of a matchup is one of the strengths of this deck, just being able to utilize this Glacial Chasm land. This kind of deck over here doesn't have a good way of answering it before sideboarding. Now, of course, next game we'll have to be worried about uh, Assassin's Trophy. I'm going to search up a forest here, green sun for three, and go get uh, Excavator this turn. And that'll let me keep hitting land drops to keep this chasm alive. Um, I think it was... I feel like I've seen they have like four Force of Vigors, and then usually like two trophies, two of sat. Abrupt Decays. Could be wrong in that, though. That might have been, like, Elves, too. I mean, I'm just, like, mixing the two up. I don't think there's usually more than two trophies, though.
How's it going, Reaple Cheap? User of four <laughs> opposition agents. Hope I never have to play you. Yeah, just get cloud boosts. Yeah, let's just play this out as a 3 3 here. Or actually, let's do it as a 2 2. Nah, just do it as a 3 3, why not? I only need one uh, reclaimer, really. Oh, okay. Ooh, as for parfait, that sounds spicy. Alright, well, I'll probably just go to one and then I'll still be fine. say alter at this point. I'll just go to win next turn. You also just like hit with Ulamog, like a single swing and mill them. the safest way. Alright. Definitely tabernacle. Definitely surgical. I'm going to bring some number of force of vigors in to answer uh, not only altar, but also ley lines. And ley lines is ac are actually ley line of the void or the dangerous part of that whole uh, milling combo. Cause that way we can't reshuffle with our Eldrazi. And then probably some number of Mind Break Traps. Maybe like two. So yeah, probably looking at these seven. Possibly more Mind Breaks. Or Forces, not sure. Yeah, so let's cut the Needles. I think I cut the Maps the last time I played this matchup. Maybe like the Maze of Ith too. And then we can bring in two more of something. Either keep two maps in or bring two Mind Break Traps. Let's try Traps. I think we're just gonna mull down to a hand that has like a early Reclaimer. Just try and rely on that. Yeah, I don't really like. I don't really like a hand that doesn't even have the potential for a reclaimer. I don't know, might be forced to keep one of these soon, though. Yeah, maybe Trap's not super great. Maybe it'd just be better to have, like, a couple maps in place of that. Uh, I'm gonna go one more time down. Alright. This is like, at least have, like, a crop rotation. Hopefully we find, like, a Reclaimer off this. And then we'll just keep enough land. So, I guess Vesuva is probably the worst of this. Yeah. 
Stitcher supplier. Therapy bridge. Interesting. Probably won't need this now. I was hoping for reclaimer. That's just another forest. So I feel like I'm probably going to crop rotate this turn. Either getting Tabernacle or Bajuka Bog. Definitely going to crop right in response to the, the therapy whenever it happens. Let's do it now. Let's get them. See what hits the graveyard still. Another therapy. All right, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna get Tabernacle at this point. Still the land drop. Yep. Oh yeah, good game, Sir Jordan. I think you uh, crushed me both games, in my opinion. But thanks for the games, though. Yeah, I've been struggling with Delver. We played it well. Uh, this is just the second game, or the second match of this league here, Professor Tofat. I, uh, we lost round one to Sir Jorn on Rug Delver, and then we're up a game here, game two, against the Hogak deck. You know, I'm always having fun with this deck that we're playing today, this uh, Mono Green Post. Yeah, it's kind of an experimental thing. And I was actually questioning, like, if I wanted to bring more cards in against Delver. Just thinking if I bring, add, like, Walking Blisses or something to the sideboard. Or if it's just, like, better to keep uh, Reclaimers in, I'd probably side out the crop rotations. I just feel like Reclaimers are just never gonna, like, stick around against uh, Delver, in my experience. Just too many bolts and Arcanist replaying bolts. That's kind of like the the biggest question, at least recently, with this deck. I feel like we might lose this one though. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, I just want to play this coming to play tap land right now. Get that out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. That was a good draw at least. I, I don't know, did, like, did you sign up Bolt, Sir Jordan? Because I was thinking, like, with Arcanist, they probably wouldn't side him out. 
just being like six to the face at the very least seems worth keeping in. But I'm not like aware enough of what Delver would prefer to keep against me. Keep four bolts. Yeah, I know other people have told me that too. That they would side out bolts. So maybe it's like worthwhile keeping like one or two reclaimers in. Yeah, I can revisit eventually if we play against Delver, which we're very like to at some point. Something else to take out. Just considering oh, this is like the post board against this game, but uh, instead of the two surgicals in the board that I'm currently running, maybe switch it to two walking ballistas, which would definitely come in against Delver. And then maybe side out, like, uh, maybe just go back to siding out all the crop rotations. Not sure. I want to bog right now. Probably not. It's not quite juicy enough for me to want to bog just yet, and mostly I need to hold up for a glacial chasm. There's another bridge. There's quite a few bridges now. This might be the time to... Still no Hogak. Kind of surprising. Alright, I'm going to bog this turn at least then. This, this is uh, juicy enough. To them. Yeah, I might just do it now, because if they get hit a Hogak, then there's nothing I can do to stop it. And I feel like they're going to hit it pretty soon. And they already attacked, too, so... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's always, like, the risk you take, going a little bit longer without bogging. But, uh... So, yeah, Sir Jordan, this is, uh... The list. If you have cardboard live, that's definitely correct there. But yeah, recently against Delver, I've been just swapping out the reclaimers entirely for carpets. And then also Tabernacle. Usually replaces Rex Age. Dark Depths, eh. It's kind of iffy against them. Yeah, but it's possible I could go back to, like, siding out two crops, two reclaimers. Like this for the carpets. I don't know, I'm just not convinced we need reclaimer in the Delver matchup. Alright, on the draw here... I think I'll take a chance on this. This is like Snowco's hand is good. But we have a turn one reclaimer. We'll likely have an untapped mana source at the very least. 
I'm on the draw too, so. Another once. Alright, definitely take that stage. Yeah, my thought was just that, uh, basically just the Reclaimer is just dead against Elver, and I'd rather just have more, uh, must-counter cards, even if, like, some of them are crop rotation. But I might be wrong, though. We can definitely switch it up next time we play against Elver. Interesting. Blue-red Elver, looks like. Probably just exchanging this for a cloud post. Yeah, I'm not. I could play around Stifle and activate right now. Maybe that would have been better. Yeah, that's true. I've seen uh, Rugless also have like a single basic island. Stupid Stifle, though. It's a card I wish I like, could never. Uh, Never came back. Could have bogged to that, but I don't think that's worth it right there. Oops. Might as well have just blocked it there, but it's too late now. Really stupid. That was a punt. If they tap out here... Okay. Now I might, like, search up the, uh, fetch land. Pull my Reclaimer out of bolt range. Oh, snuff out. Okay, well, I might as well just do this now. Oh, yeah, definitely, uh... If you get the chance, uh, check out my stream. Which normally will be on weekends. Although, this next week or so, I'll be playing on weekdays quite a bit. Uh, definitely my YouTube channel. It also gives you a look at this deck in particular. Oh, that's cool. They can, like, just keep snuffing out until they hit it. Or until they die, I guess. Archive trap. Oh, okay, this is that middle deck. Gotcha. This seems not great, because we have Emrakul to save us. Not that time, though. Snuff it out. <laughs> it's Kark stuff. And he keeps losing the flip, I think. Now he won there. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen this list before. We need to just not draw our Emrakul at this point. I don't even know if there's something to needle here. <laughs> He's gonna kill himself with flips. Might just even wanna keep cards in hand in case I need to like discard the hand size. Might be the best idea here. Yeah, let's do that. I just don't think this card is good, like, at all. But maybe I'm wrong.
this Kozilek in hand makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah, good luck, Sir Jordan. Thanks for the matches. And, uh, yeah, check out my stream. Follow me if you haven't already. And that applies to everyone, if you haven't already. I intend to stream for a while into the future, so... It would help me out a lot. Any of your support. I feel like they're going to counter or something. I'd rather just keep up in hand size here if I need to discard this Kozilek. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm always a fan of anything Legacy. Excellent. I'm going to play this out here as my land, and then next turn, in case I draw Emrakul, as long as I'm not about to deck, I can just discard Emrakul to hand size, if that were to happen. I might just cast Kozilek next turn. Or if it gets countered, too. It's a lot more for them to have to mill down. Probably mill me. Hopefully Emrakul hits here. Ulamog, there it is. A surgical, uh oh. That's scary. Oh, they failed the flip again. <laughs> That's a, man, they have to win this flip then. I think they did, right? Uh -uh. Well, now I should just search up, like, Walking Ballista and just kill him. See if I can pull that off. Shouldn't have yielded there, but... Try and find my, my cavernous souls. I guess I could just, just put this down anyway. Yeah, I think that's right. Hey, how's it going, Lynch Alice? I'm here for a uh, a midweek stream. It's kind of rare. They can't even force this because they're at one in days. That's fine. Maybe they lose this flip though. I think they did. They keep losing this flip. Should have brought uh, 
Just bring Tabernacle in for this situation. They lost it again. <laughs> what do you think about Kark? <laughs> Lynn Chalice. Is this card good? <laughs> yeah, they lost four dazes in a row. Which I would have been fine with, honestly. Does this card down? I don't think it's good at all. I mean, I guess like getting potentially like six damage out of bolts is awesome, but <laughs> but still though. Yeah, I should just search up uh Ballista, as long as it doesn't get milled here. Nope. Oh. Is Emmer cool? Okay, Ballista's back. I guess they can hard cast Surgical now. Unless it fails. How oh, they won this time. You won this time. It's also just a lot for them to deal with this Kozilek now. Targeting Reclaimers? Okay, yeah, that's the other one. Even want here. My break traps. I don't even want to change much. All right, tabernacle. I don't think the pithing needle is going to do much. So I guess I could just be like traps or something. Maybe surgicals of my own. Remove their stuff. I think I need a lot of this stuff. Yeah, maybe just all of this. Or some number of carpets, too. Yeah, I thought it's been pretty bad from the times I've seen it so far. I guess, like, bolts are... A good thing to have multiples of. I think the crop rots are just too risky. All of this. Not all these traps. Yeah, let's try like that. Yeah, I'm s this is fine. If I find a forest. Just do it now before I can get dazed. Uh, I guess reclaimer. I guess a cavern. Should draw a forest sooner or later. Even though I'm just gonna surgical, I can archive trap. Storm locked. Not so bad though. 
guess I could search gold my own thing and just like fail to find if it's something that there's multiples of, like a prime time. I don't want to surgical them right now when they're brainstorm locked. I guess not now. Maybe they're force of oil. That seems like a good thing to surgical. Select surgical now, probably. search up a forest and then try and get a carpet down maybe I'll surgical the archive traps <laughs> that too yeah maybe that tabernacle yeah that's nice and annoying Kozilek again. Kozilek again. Alright, they might have Archive Trap. That's fine still. Kozilek. I think I'd rather surgical force than anything. The archive traps, I guess. Let them draw. Even their own surgicals, if that happened. Freeze. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's do this post combat. Thank you, Omni Games, for the follow. Appreciate it. Thanks for showing your support. Might be a. Uh, it's possible you might not have ever seen me stream before. I don't normally stream at this time. Typically only on the weekends, but. I'm streaming a bit this next week during the week. At least finish this league here right now. Maybe a second uh, league after that. on the cusp of the next level of uh, whatever Twitch is, Twitch partner I think, so I think I needed to play two more days this month to be at least like at the bare minimum so I figured I should get in today and tomorrow at least at least a little bit on the play here for the fourth round and I think we can do better Especially considering the two uh, prime times in hand. It's not good though. Alright, I should have kept that first one most likely. I'm gonna keep this though. Back Emrakul and I think Excavator here. If I do another league, I might be down to deviate from the usual list a little bit. I know, Wombo Combo. I was hoping nobody would mention it. But, uh, yeah, that was terrible. I lost to, like, all the Delver matchups I played. And after that, it was just like, eh. Yeah, congrats, though, man. You did well. I, uh... Yeah, I think if that ever something like that happens again, I have to, like, switch something up. I think between, like, everybody being, like, top-notch competitors and people also expecting what I was on, those two things are probably what uh, hurt me the most. But yeah, I, I can't, like, I can't lie, it's just did terrible. I just wanted to play out the last round. It's the only reason. It was fun, though. Glad I got to play in that. But yeah, I probably would either switch my deck choice up next time, or... I have to switch something, like, pretty significant up. No, I don't think it was that, like, I mean, people knew what to do against me if they were, like, a Delver deck. I'd be down to do Blue-Green Post pretty soon. I just have my, uh, my dual lands out on loan right now. My duels in, like, some of my Misties. But we can definitely do Blue-Green, like, one of these days here. But yeah, I also have, like, uh... Wombo combo. I also have, like, the blue Urza Echoes deck. Part of me was, like, considering playing that instead. Just to switch people... Switch up what people were thinking. But, yeah, it's... That it is what it is. Back to the grind now. This looks like it'll be a good matchup for us here. 
If he targets one of these, I'll take whatever one they target. Alright. I don't want to lose either of these maps these next couple turns, so... Normally I would just search up like a cavern here for this prime time. But I'm going to hold off on one turn for that. I might as well get something right now. My land to play next turn. I guess just like a cloud post. And then the turn after... Plan to use the... Get the uh, Excuse me, get something else with that other map. Probably a cavern with the other one. And then with this prime time, next turn off of a cavern, probably just get cloud post I. Makes the most sense to me. Look, my chat's not, like, refreshing. Either there's been 13 viewers for the last, like, hour, or... No, I'm going to get next turn. I just wanted to make a better land drop this turn. Before I sign this prime time. And I didn't want both these uh, maps to become elks. Let's get Catherine right now. Yeah, if I had slammed that prime time last turn, then a map would have been uh, at risk of being elked. And map's just like that valuable in this matchup. I cavern here, or I cloud post, excuse me. Expect this to get swords. I guess they could potentially have a uh, opposition agent, but you can't play around everything. Eerie. It's pretty surprising. Probably gonna search up Ulamog next turn, hit the two planeswalkers. Unless I draw a locust land. Then we'll have the mana for Emrakul.
All right, we have Emrakul mana. Should just be game. I can't Caracas bounce it. I mean, this is just Snoko. It's a good matchup for us. Yeah, cut the crops. Cut excavator. Taps. And then, yeah, this is something I was considering. These last two cuts to fit in carpets and forces. If I'd prefer to keep maze and, like, bog as ways to just, like, answer their Uro. Or cut a couple of reclaimers. Just because I don't expect these to live very long either. It's just like a Delver. Could see either way. I'll just cut the lands here. Oops. On that note, uh, Excavator might be worth just keeping around too. Just to help hit the land drops. And could match up either way. Hope everyone's having a good uh, holiday season. Get some good food. Celebrate with family. Hopefully safely. Enjoy some vintage cube. If not that, some legacy. draw here. I don't hate this hand, really. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Hope we find a forest off once upon a time. But the first cloud post is also critical. And 
There's a green source, so that's good. Now let's just hope we find like a cloud post. That'll do. I'm gonna attempt this carpet first thing. Beyond this, not sure if I want to actually cast this Reclaimer if this resolves. I think the Reclaimer might just better be served as another green card for Force. In case like Back to Basics or like a Sylvan Library how it happens next turn. Uh... Yeah, I guess let's just throw it out there. Make them have to answer this. If this gets countered, I'd be fine with that. I'll probably draw another green card. In a couple turns anyway. This Reclaimer lives. Might actually just search up Eye of Ugin first thing with it next turn. Yeah, it's gonna get answered here. Back to basics here. I guess I might as well just wait till next turn and... Okay. Just slam this prime time here. Yeah. Yeah, let's just start slamming threats here. Force pushing Ice Fang. Just slamming green sun for prime time next turn. And it's like tempting to try and take him off their their astrolabe, but let's just go for victory here. I'll just make this. If this gets countered, then I'll probably force pitching reclaimer, hitting like a food token and astrolabe next turn. I feel like they're gonna force a negation this, but I'm fine still with that. Okay. 
Yeah, I just want to hit their food in this astrolabe then. that then is that worth it still probably I mean they lose their color producing ability at that point still so I think I need to slow down the clock though Maybe this isn't worth it. just now, but I see something up. Who knows? I have no idea what happened. They did I somehow, like, not target it? I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. Yeah, I'll look at the log in just a second. Say, Oko targeting Astrolabe. Cast Force of Vigor. I guess somehow just didn't target it, but... That's the most reasonable explanation to me. Yeah, I don't know. Just hope we dry something in the next couple turns. I'm gonna pay five life here, or four life, go to five. And then the turn after we can make a stage chasm on upkeep. And buy two more turns that way. on this until they tap out at least like less than five mana. Or at least until I can like attempt multiple spells in this turn. Up 
upkeep. Let's make one of these. A chasm. They'll think this is valuable. Like it's so that the difference between like casting Emrakul or something. Who knows? Maybe it'll be the last bit of mana we need later. Three here. Yeah, let's try and fire multiple things off here now. Force of will. Map. More important card. Yes. All right, hopefully we don't get agent right here. Oh, no, there's three mana. Okay. That should be good then. Can just search up right now while the coast is clear. Go get my my Ember Cool and cast that next turn. And I can also make this another cloud post again. Yeah, me too. This chasm, that's feeding stage. Lands could take that interaction if they wanted. Copy the wrong one. Uh, shouldn't matter. It's stupid today. All right, let's take something out here. Yes, Kozilek. Let's see if we hit a different. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess we have the guaranteed mana for Kozilek and Emrakul this turn, but this way we could hit a better land drop. Yeah, like our Caracas. Perfect. Let's just give her life gain here. Let's see if this resolves. Let's name Oko. Carpet mana here, or get our use out of our carpet. I don't know. To search for prime time, I guess. This doesn't really matter right here. I'll just show him the Caracas. So I should have just done that before this. Just gonna use some of my carpet mana. Okay. It's life gain. No, I should have just shown him the Caracas. I would have done that next. <laughs> my B. It's all like dark here. So really, yeah. Thanks for watching my stream, everyone. Hope you're having a good time. This is the stock list where I'm at now. But there was a couple things I was thinking of. Uh, messing around with like one thing was just to try and keep this general like set up with green suns reclaimers but also try and squeeze in four car and the great creators and see how something like that would work we can discuss that we'll see uh yeah, let's try this one. Turn two Reclaimer. We have Crop Rod if necessary. Cloud Post in her initial hand, so... If they're a control deck, this isn't terrible either. The start makes me not want to go get Reclaimer. Uh, maybe I guess we should. We have a second Green Sun. Make him have a Bolt, I guess. Yep. Okay. I'm guessing... I would say Blue Red Delver. If not something like way worse, like Doomsday. Alright, Blue Red Delver. Maybe even Rug Delver.
feeling brainstorm. Let's just try get this crop right off here. Force pitching ponder. Not good. Playing into days here. I'm just going to concede there. Alright, so we can try out something different than the usual, or whatever is usual to me recently. Like, I'm of the opinion that Reclaimers should just come entirely out. Uh, especially Blue-Red Delver, I feel like, is going to have more bolts. I think they usually, on average, have like one or two more like Chain Lightnings, if I remember correctly. Definitely going to bring these five in, a tabernacle and the carpets. But the other options besides siding out reclaimers would be like some number of crop rotations and possibly expedition maps too. I prefer Rex Age against Blue Red more so than Rug Delver because I expect to see like Blood Moon or it's more of a possibility out the board. And Depths Eh. We saw Brazen Borrower main deck, which makes me think I don't want to risk going for that. Although it's not a bad idea to just have this around. I mean, with all these crop rots that I would be keeping in. But yeah, let's just uh, try Reclaimers out. Try it like that. Yeah, try this. It's the key card here. Let's see if we can just get, uh, to prime time mana with the screen sun off carpets alone. Delver. Another carpet. Let's throw this out there. Probably go get a mountain here, I think. Yeah.
Azavith, I'm guessing. Yeah, I would rather save the excavator to get at least like a land drop out of it. Let's see if they like wasteland right here. Might try it next turn. I could attempt to uh, green sun for. My Rex Age and unlock my Maze of Ith here. I don't think I'm gonna have like much time to try and like slam multiple of, like prime times. So I feel like I should probably start using the resource I, so that I do have in hand right now. Yeah, I need to start fighting through counter spells. So I think I will try and find the Rex Age here. Okay, this is fine. Targeting me. Okay. I might just be dead here then. Another bolt and I'm dead. Bolt at me. Just jump this here. I don't know how important that is. I guess I'm just dead to a bolt anyway, so I might as well just wait. Ah, oh, this way I died to two bolts. Alright, I probably should have jumped there. Alright. Oh, I feel like that's pretty uh, typical. Lose to Delver. Seems to be the case recently. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. And then... I might be down to play another league. Yeah, thanks for tuning in everyone, just hold up one minute.
Yeah, let's do one more league. Uh, whether I alter anything here or not, it's a question. Possibly. Yeah, it's this. Yeah, this number of bother viewers is like bothering me. I just checked on my other computer. And I know it's more than thirteen. Probably just my shitty computer. Uh, but anyways, could replace these surgicals with like walking ballistas. Yeah, let's do that. Mostly just because I feel like Ballista is a card that I might incorporate at some point in like one of these lists. Just rather get some uh some more reps in with that card. Yeah, let's try it like that. Another thought that I had was uh, trying to squeeze in Karn the Great Creator into the Green Sun list. I'm not sure how I'd want to do that exactly. Let's see. Alright, so say we started here. I guess Ballista probably would just be a Karn target, if that were the, excuse me, the case. Cut a map. Yeah, that's for another day. Let's just play. Yeah, this is a good hand. Good all-around hand. Swamp Ether Vial. This would make me think uh, Esper Vial. All right, let's try get a Reclaimer activation before we start uh, naming with Vial. Probably just intend to. Okay, that makes it easy. It's gonna drop this needle next turn anyway. Yeah, let's play around days so far. Name vial with this. Kinda just wanna play the map here. And probably be okay if that gets days though. Mostly save this crop rotation to protect cloud post. This is definitely a. Uh, this is like the opposition agent deck too, so you know that's a thing now. Okay, hit my needle. Okay, interesting map. Hopefully they tap out again, because then I could attempt to get... Uh, it is the closest clear now, too, though, if I wanted to surf something up right now. This would lose to Wasteland. Oh, let's risk it. I'm more scared of uh, Agent. The next turn, if they tap out, I can just try and slam Green Sun for prime time.
Crisp Needle. No, oh, Skyclave. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Oh, this thing is exposed now. I feel like I can't just be scared of that forever, though. I should probably just slam for prime time here. If they have agent here, this would be it. They're gonna have agent rights. Okay, well, I guess they're getting agent next turn, so. Hold Richard. Okay. Let's get just. A good sign, at least. No, oh, force pitching hold reacher. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I feel like they probably would have searched up agent if they had it there. Maybe not. Just doing this here. Could get the Emrakul in hand. Just get the mana to help out. Yeah, I. Th Let's not play scared around Agent this game. Like, if not this game, then most definitely the game after, they will probably have it. Spirit. <laughs> oh, illusion. Okay. Six, go to twelve. All right, it's fire now. Fire it now. Could go get Ulamog. Probably be enough here. Do it all now. Maybe even Ballista. Uh, let's just get Ulamog. Take out the Ether Vial White, I think. Let's take the black.
because Wasteland would probably be the worst thing at this point. These ballistas I brought in, though, should be useful in this game. Play engineer, I guess. Maybe the recruiter is best to get rid of. Uh, I guess the sky clave, if they're hitting with that. Or no, I have to get engineer first for that to be meaningful. Mage for Spencer. I'm just search up Emrakul and win. Carpets, Tabernacle, or some number of carpets. Definitely the ballistas and Tabernacle, and then some number of these carpets. I just got the maps entirely. I don't know. Possibly some number of the, uh, the crop rotations as well. Now, maybe it's good to have a couple maps still. I can safely do without maze. I remember in past games that uh, it was possible for them to not search up like too many islands if they didn't want to. So yeah, I don't think it carpets as much of a all-in type of card as it is in like other matchups. I think I'll try. So our ether vial, our pithy needle name. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's try and play this down right here. And this is kind of like the spot I was in the very last game. I'll probably just slam Needle next turn. Try and not let them get any value out of this. And also play like Cloud Post. Swords, yep. Yeah, 
just try and get this down now. See if this should resolve. All right, let's just do it right now. As long as they don't have exactly just uh, opposition agent in hand, this prime time can search up whatever it wants. And if they do slam it, we don't actually have to search with this either. Just hope this uh, a six six prime time is enough, or if voice slam happens. So the one thing I was going to say that would stop us. Just hope the same thing happens next turn then. I guess they could have recruiter in hand right here. Like a wisp. Okay. It's annoying, that's for sure. Go to nine here. I need to spend this turn at least making the stage a cloud boost. I just die though if they could also try and search up like I could also try and get like a Excavator out of this, that way it wouldn't just die. I could like at least chump something and wouldn't die to like any other creature in hand. I feel like I should probably search up for something. Probably try and get uh, Rex Age here. Even if that's gonna hold off the uh, prime time for a turn. Yeah, let's do that. It's basically uh, risking if they have a creature in hand versus... I guess if they don't. But I feel like it's pretty likely they have something in hand. Let's drop in off of that. And this way if I draw like a Glimmer Post next turn... Yeah. I think they have something. I probably just hit the baleful strix if this comes in. They didn't. They didn't have something. 
got me opponent. Still draw like a like a walking ballista, probably buy a turn or two. Does this do it? I don't think so. What's that? Yeah, maybe I should have taken the chance that they didn't have something. Uh, do I want to change anything else up? Could just side a couple of reclaimers out for carpets instead. Get the mana that way. I feel like they they shown themselves to be pretty uh, island heavy. That's the thing about like with this the way the list is uh, configured, though. I feel like in a lot of matchups, you have multiple things you could uh, choose to sideboard into multiple different ways. Give yourself some like flexibility with how you want to attempt to like approach a matchup. Yeah, let's try this. Like a cloud post, the most off this once upon a time. I'll see what I find if I want to attempt a carpet turn one or not. Stage. Uh, let's just take another forest. I'm likely going to be crop riding one of these forests fairly quickly. Probably next turn, even. Wasteland. I'm actually going to say Wasteland with this needle. A little bit of a change from the previous games. But considering my hand, I want to try and drop these uh, Vesuvas in quickly. to say Wasteland, though. Yeah, let's go for this now. Well, they don't have days up. Okay. I would normally would too, but it's concerning these Vesuvas. I'd like to get those out ASAP. I'll just play this out here too. Give them another thing to target with their, their whatchamacallits, they're coming. Try and press this board advantage. Terrifying. I might get to... Uh... That's really annoying. I 
I get wastelanded every turn now. Let's play out. Let's just play the Vesuva out here. Just still keep as many cloud posts in play as possible. I might have to get uh, Tabernacle next turn. Because I feel like they're going to drop in. Whatchamacallit? Uh, Skyclave. I'm going to start getting Wasteland in next turn. Maybe I should have done it this turn, just to prompt them to, like, fetch. Possibly, like, another island. Did I keep bogging? I don't think I did. Alright, no. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Alright, so let's get Tabernacle here then. What's up, Mr. Lee? Our mortal enemy, indeed. Man, if there was ever a terrible time for me to play out that, uh... <laughs> that, uh, excavator, it was definitely then. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see if they use this, uh, this Marsh Flats. First, what's cyberpunk? If you don't mind me asking, Maybe I still say, no, I should still say vile here. I think that's just best. I think it's more important to stop them than it is to try and so name an actual card here. Oh, gotcha. And sorts this here. To lose one of these. I'm likely going to keep the excavator around, of course. Nice. Sounds cool. Get Wasteland. Not sure what the Wasteland exactly. I think I'm just trying to jump right here. Uh, it depends on... I'll make them wasteland me. Not. Probably pay for both of these. Try and win the race that way.
Drake tribal. Isn't this card like stupid expensive in real life? It is. See if I can work my way up to just enough mana via carpets. I feel like I still want to swing with both of these. No, I could find like Walking Ballista, so I guess I should just hold back. Probably trying to find more basics at this point, though. Either that, or just try and get them to... Or Reclaimers, even, too. Yeah, I could use the Reclaimers to get, uh, exchange some of these, just erase them more than anything. Yeah, maybe Ulamog. Probably should have held up a little bit on that. Well, I mean, we're almost to Ulamog mana with just carpets. Kind of hoping for a basic forest there, really. Or like walking ballista, honestly. I can like cast uh, and unlock their revile. It's bad. God. I'm gonna get my reclaimer now. Yeah, getting punished for playing out my creatures. Let's see if I can try and ride these Gilded Drakes to victory. Doesn't do much for me. Might as well just start swinging. Yeah, I'll turn the lights on. It's getting kind of dark in here. Yeah, just swing with these, I guess. Makes sense. Swords the other one. Alright. Yeah, so let me get past this, uh, finish this around here. And they already have all the wastelands they need. It's from their, <laughs> their excavator they stole from me. I'm just going to fire this off here. I'm 
the ballista. I think I need the forest, though. Right. Like, I think I work towards this prime time in hand at this point. I don't know. Uh, I think I just need the forest at the moment. There's our other mortal enemy, Mr. Lee. I knew this was in there somewhere. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose this one. Yeah, and kind of carpets aren't really doing all that much. It's just what I was kind of afraid of. Watch, I probably won't even get an island here. Uh. This be something pretty good here. Skyclave. Yeah, they can just hit the carpet. <laughs> just thinking it probably would have to be like that card in particular. Alright, what do we hit now? Let's just play it out. Have to block with it. Let's see if it resolves first. Now we know about Skyclave also, so... I don't think it's going to be enough. Okay. I might have made some poor decisions that game, but it was a good match. Let me turn the lights on. Oh, that's better. I actually got a, uh, a light for Christmas to help make the, uh, this part, like my part here, better illuminated. I'll bring it up. Those of you just joining in, running the pretty typical stock version, but with two walking ballistas, a sideboard instead of the usual two uh, surgical extractions. I feel like this is a card that I might try and incorporate at some point more into the list. That's good. Just get a cloud post here. Let's trade this Jukabog for another cloud post.
feels like Omni. Or, yes, you can show. Alright. Macarocus should be probably the most relevant card. I don't think it matters anyway, but... Alright. Difficult matchup. The surgicals are actually going to be worse here. Or the ballistas they have in place of the usual surgicals. Not that surgical is any great against the Somnitel deck, but it's better than ballista. One card top, one card bottom. If they somehow live, I can attempt to green sun for Rexage. Seems very unlikely, though. Seagate. Also get cavern naming elf or construct. I just like more mana here. Alright, now it's not even worth it getting Rex Age. Okay, I'll scoop to that. So normally I would also bring in the surgicals if we had those instead of ballistas. And our mind bridge traps are not great, but there's something. I don't even know if I want carpets either. I think I'd be better off with like crop rotations. And just as a way to try and like get them to like respond to a crop rotation on the stack and try and turn on mind break trap. Well, let's see what we're going to cut here first. Cut Chasm, cut Maze. Pithing Needle is something that I would like 100% try and rely on in the blue-red sneak and show matchup. But against Omni, it's not super great. We did see Tefiri, so it's a reasonable thing to name with this. Yeah, I'll probably end up cutting some number of these needles, though. Let's just get the maps. Cut Excavator. I could also use Walking Ballistas as, like, preemptive ways to answer, like, Tefiri and stuff like that. But I don't think that's going to be worth it. Jukabog's not great, but mostly just as a triggered ability to put in off of a show and tell, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's try two carpet of flowers in place of two needles. And this is a terrible matchup for anybody that's not aware. I don't think I can keep this. It would just be hoping they put in something. Nah. I mean, Force of Vigor is the most important card in this matchup. Alright, 
I can definitely keep this one then. The needle is one of the worst. Then I guess just one of the lands. Really don't even feel like playing this uh, once upon a time out until I have at least another green card in hand. I guess I'll keep stage. Yeah, let's just keep... <laughs> this is more for, like, experimentation. But let's keep both Mind Break Traps to see if we can maybe just get them. On the turn they decide to go off. Like, let's see if we can at least just stop what they're doing. I don't think we can, but... That's why I decided to keep a second Mind Break Trap here. If we draw another green card next turn, then they'll fire off once upon a time, most likely. But I won't fire it off until we at least have a second green card for this force. Two cards on top. Alright, there's another green card. Let's just use it now. Let's get the prime time. It's a good thing to drop in. Maybe they'll go for it quickly next turn. I think I'd rather they just go for a next turn. It's not going to get much better for us, so... Let's take our chances with the hate that we do have. How's it going, uh, Waterfalls? Hope we're doing well. About to go 0-2 here in this league. To get Omnied. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Got a bad matchup here myself. I do a lot worse in leagues than I do in challenges, too. Maybe it's just like the presence of more combo decks. I don't know exactly. It's not the worst uh, land at all. If they're just waiting to drop it to Fury before they go off, then all of this stuff is like for mute. For mute. Okay, there it goes. Let's see. Alright. Where's your thing now? Yeah, I think I just have to attempt it now. Makes the most sense. Alright, force. To search up here, it's cloud posts. Could also get a dark depths here. Yeah, let's do it. Just in case they like bounce this end of turn, at least have like dark depths ready to go. Like a turn later. Also get cloud post forest. And open up the chance of green sunning for Rex Age next turn. 
Yeah, you know, I like that better, actually. And then I can swing and get Dark Depths if it comes to that. If it comes to that. I don't expect it to, but, you know. It's Mind Break Trap, sir. Turn it on now. Shuffle. I think I just wait to hit the uh, the payoff here. Could be wrong about that. Just do not shuffle. And sir. Should I care about this? I care about this at all. I don't think so. Prime time, I'm guessing. Caracas. Okay. Maybe I should have uh, countered that. Maybe I should be trapping these ponders. I mean, removing the Emrakul is still something I can do with this. Anybody care to comment if I should just fire off one of these now? I don't know. Because I can still remove the Emrakul, and then... I mean, I'd just like to end the turn at like ASAP, though. I feel like at this point it's probably worth doing it. I was thinking that for a while. As they've been like can tripping all this time. But I'll keep the second one for just like just for a payoff. I can still let this resolve, right? So whatever they go get from this. Yeah. And then I'll try and mind break trap both of them. So will. Just trap both of these now, I guess. I mean, it's one of them is just like the same thing anyway. Yeah, I don't see why not. If they have another thing, like another counter or another payoff here, then this is just the end. Okay. Is that good enough? Oh god. I can search for two more cards.
I bet they found it. I bet they found it. Obviously gonna draw here. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, let's go for a green sun then. Go for a Rex Age. I guess I'll get this out. Live to turn, it looks like. Until they show and tell again. Yeah, I'm happy that at least that worked out the way we wanted it to, that part of it. slam this next turn. Looks like there's no way to get this down just yet. Yeah. And I wish I had like those surgicals, surgical out like the Omnis. Right. Like just slamming it here. I feel like we're just out now. It's completely out of gas. And this is gonna prevent us from doing anything like instant speed again. top one bottom it's just thin here 
Normally I wouldn't do it for this purpose, but... Intuition or cunning wish. Okay. This is a nice addition to this deck. Shuffled. Come on, Ulamog, like one time. One top, one bottom. God, it's a show and tell, I bet. Okay, I can just bounce this. Let's do that now. Okay, there's something. Super lucky to win that game. But yeah, the combo hating out when they went to combo off. I'm just happy that that worked out. Like, can't complain about that. I think I'm just going to keep this the same. That's how we drew it up, though. I feel like the sand might have enough. I mean, we don't have our Force of Vigor, our most, most important card, but... We can guarantee our Reclaimer. We have close to a Dark Depths combo. This might be worth keeping still. Just thinking if we mull down to a hand with a Force of Vigor. Like, how good of, of that kind of hand could there possibly be? Yeah, I think we keep this. It's also, like, a giant thing could potentially drop in. All right, yeah, I'm just going to fire this off here. Prime time would be a who wreck sage. That's definitely the best thing. Yeah, let's take that. I feel like we've got a shot here. Got a chance. And this, of course, will be what we drop in. Probably just work towards a Dark Depths combo.
It's not terrible. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this. Just thinking later down the line, having the triggered ability off this glimmer post is going to be like the most important between that land and this forest. It's a show and tell. All right, hopefully it's enough. This is good so far. It's their second spell here. Will this mind break trap be enough though? Still just wait for, to hit the thing they grab off this, right? Because they can't do an uncounterable, like, triggered thing. Yeah. Sublime Epiphany. That makes sense. HC Fox. How's it going? Has to, this has to answer it now. Turn to my hand. Right. So just even know what I want the most here. Just get the stage out here. Be a couple turns behind, but at least that's close. All right. Let's go one more turn. Just get to. Uh... Not sure what I could possibly draw, but. That was a terrible matchup. Surprised it went as close as it did. But yeah, even though the combo hate didn't work out entirely that last game, I felt like that was pretty promising. Yeah, I would have much rather have uh, surgicals there than these ballistas. We can either try and surgical like force of wills or. Try and prompt them to play more spells. Get more spells on the stack. Hey, Magic Maniacs. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. How are we going to play out? Uh... Yeah, let's at least play out to our third loss. 
It's, uh, it's not going swell, this league. That's how it goes sometimes. Name Oko and then concede. Yeah, I don't even really like Needle in the Omnitel matchup. Like, for the red one, like, Sneak Attack would be a good name, but... And we saw a Teferi at one of those games. But even naming Teferi, it's like... We can't stop the, uh, the important static ability. Oh, did I play against you, Magic Maniacs? Finish up this. Not enough lands. Lands kind of sucks too. Keep this just on the hopes we find a uh, forest for this reclaimer. If they're like Kogak or something, we can maybe like dig ourselves out of this four card hand here. A terrible uh, once upon a time. Yeah, definitely waste that. Let's see what they're on before I concede. Get that information out. Looks like Delver. One more turn from them. Just make it clear. I guess I have nothing else would be running volcanic wasteland. Arcanist. Yeah. I suppose I could have played it out to see if they were running rug or just blue red, but my cyber plan's mostly just gonna be the same either way. Alright, this is one of my gripes with playing Ballistas here, is if it came to, like, the Delver matchup, I feel like there's, like, almost too many cards to bring in. But I think I'm still just committed to not running Reclaimers. So cut these. I guess Dark Depths. You can also just keep at 61 cards. I'm going to cut crop rotations, like two of them, though, to accommodate for the two extra ballistas. Yeah, it's a 261. Then I would either cut Rex Age or Dark Depths, most likely, if I had to make one more additional cut. But if they're blue red, I'd probably just prefer to cut Depths. Small down to like carpet or needle or something like that. Sure, I'll try this.
for switching force. Probably just gonna play risky here this game. I'm gonna crop rot this glimmer for another cloud post between now and the next turn. Tundra. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. If they have this up. Yeah, just hold back on that. Much rather like crop right the steps away instead. It's like Jeskai Delver. Oh, fuck. Try and play this out next turn. Maybe this will prompt a, a wasteland activation from them. Two cards bottom. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I should try and just hit my land drop here. Get like a cloud boost or something. I 
He's also Rex Sage. Oh, I really hit my land drops though. And of course, I expect them to wasteland. So, whenever that happens, so uh, crop rot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, here's a wasteland. Now the question is, it's another cloud post. Get a stage. I mean, that white kind of makes me not want to get stage. Yeah, I like the uh, possibilities of cloud posts too. You're right, waterfalls. Yeah, it'll be a couple turns before we can really make use of this cloud post. I'll probably untap cloud posts. And if we happen to draw like a forest, I can attempt the Rex Age. Alright, it's unfortunate. Oh yeah, then they wasteland this. Yeah. I should have done that. Oh well. Yeah, they need to be able to make... Like, they'll get a ton of card advantage, but... I feel like they have to at least, uh... Follow it up with something... Useful. Just clear that now. Why not? Mostly just need the land drops. Like a carpet of flowers about now. Just gonna untap a forest again next turn.
don't even know if I go for the screen sun here just yet. I mean, I'm probably okay, I'm okay if they hard cast Force Negation. At least I can play around days now. This isn't the worst. If they did tap out for Force Negation, also wouldn't be the worst here. Force between Stifle and Stifle. Okay. White into your yeah, what is this? Aria Flame? That's a good answer. Actually a really good answer here. Not so much an answer. Is this just like a threat? Yeah, now I feel like I would be forced to answer that if I have another chance at Rex Age. if they rebuy their uh, Enlightened Tutor. No. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, you could just draw into a carpet, be like our one out. Let's see if they stifle this. Yeah, I don't have any more stages, though, is the thing. I mean, I'll take a I'll tap a post this next turn. I think it gives me the most options. Another Aria Flame. Maybe I should untap a forest, though, in case you draw, like, a carpet or something. Nah, let's get mana here. Another Glimmer Post, and we're pretty close to this, like, Ulamog at this point. Oh, where are you, Carpet of Flowers? You were needed. Could have also gotten like a Thespian stage off that map. Another wasteland. 
Maybe just start in the depths eventually that way. Anybody know of like a, another uh, legacy streamer that's streaming currently? I'd like to raid them if possible. Next couple minutes here. Oh, Thraven U is streaming? Yeah, we'll definitely raid him. Thanks for letting me know, Punishing. But yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow. Probably to play another league or two. So, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the stream. Yeah, definitely. Well-deserved mod you are, Waterfalls. Yeah, we'll definitely watch this, uh... Definitely be playing some variation of Cloud Posts, as I always do. We can decide, uh, as a group, if we want to change it up from our usual, or if we want to deviate from the norm. We could deviate a ton, too. That's... We can decide that tomorrow, though, but I'm going to call it quits there, being 03. But yeah, really appreciate everybody watching the stream. Definitely uh, tune in tomorrow. And yeah, hope to see you later. I'm going to turn you over to Thraven U right now. But yeah, thanks everyone. Have a good rest of your uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Night, everyone.